Right, hello everyone, welcome to System Test 1. In this video, I'll be testing all the devices on the system, and when I will only sound all of the sounders at once, I'll only do that one time, and then after that, I'll be using the bell this test. So, I'm going to turn it on. So, the panel's now booting up. It, it takes it a matter of seconds to boot up, and then it's ready. It's one of the quickest panels to boot up that I'm aware of. So we'll log in. Check all the lamps work. Appears they do. So first I will sound the alarms to check the beacon works. See it does. I'll do this switch here does this sounder, which I'll do now. It's on symphony alternating tone. I'm only going to sound it for a second because of how loud it is. If you want to hear a longer version of it, I will do a tone video of this sounder, but the non-beacon version at some point. I'll now test the Protex sounder, which is on alternating. And I'll now do the bell. This bell is a motorised bell. Just silence the panel to stop the flashing. See, I can take this off. That's inside it. If I sound it again, what happens is these weights here spin like this, look. And they hit hit the gong. You can see where the weights have been striking the bell. They've worn a bit of the paint away. When putting it back, you have to remember to locate that little stud on there. I'm going to put it back now. Sorry about this. Um, so what it is, is just a... There's this screw which stops you from being able to untwist it. Which is good because when it... These will typically be used in schools for for the lesson change bell. So we'll start off this time. Right, the bell's now on. I'll reset the panel. So I'm going to press it in this time. So zone 1, KAC core point. It's in. Bell's now sounding. Silence that. Before I reset the panel, I'm going to reset the call point. So that's now reset. You can reset the panel. Hopefully it won't go off again. I'm now going to test each one of these alert call points, which will sound the bell for a second, roughly. So this one has glass in it, but it's broken. And I've just had to turn it around to stop it sounding. I'll now try it on this one, KAC call point, which has resettable element. This one is the new design. The cover doesn't come all the way down. I'll make a detailed video of another one, which isn't on a system. So now I'm going to test zone 2. I'll first start off with this one. This call point has glass in it, and I'm not going to break that. So the key's down now. See? Just pull the key out to make sure it doesn't go off again. Reset the panel now. One thing I've done on this is um, zone 2 has an end of line resistor. But as soon as I remove the detector head, see? The fault light will come on in a minute. Try resetting the panel, see if that makes it quicker. See, there we are. This is the wiring in the detector head. So this is the, the end of line resistor. This is the zone wiring here, positive and negative. And this is the remote output indicator here, which the smoke detector turns on. Now put this back on its base. 
I have to be careful with this detector because I've taken it apart. So I'll now reset that. Now that's back on. The fault should clear on zone 2. You see, it's cleared. Right, this detector, so I don't have to use deodorant, I've unscrewed it. So what I do is I take the cover off, undo this, and then it should trigger on its own after a while. In fact, it works if, if I take this off. I'm then going to put the cover in here. You can see the LEDs. See? So these are both. So the. Hang on, just put this back on. So this remote remote output indicator will will show where if this smoke detector is activated, if it's in a hidden location, for example. If it was in a cupboard, that's locked up, that only certain people are allowed to get into. It would allow anyone to see that the smoke detector in there or the device has been activated. I'm not going to reset the panel now, because otherwise it will sound that. So, yeah, this is it for system test one. Thanks for watching, and be sure to comment, like and subscribe to see system test two.